The numbers are staggering. One demographic is having more heart attacks and dying from them more frequently than any other ethnic group. Yeah, we're talking about people of South Asian descent. Just take a look at this map. That includes the countries of Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Priya Mann is live tonight. Now, Priya, you are South Asian, and you're seeing this firsthand. Yeah, that's right. I think what's also particularly shocking is I'm seeing victims my age, South Asians, in their 30s and 40s. Now, in some cases, they are taking care of themselves, but overall, one of the biggest challenges in my community, we are not talking about this deadly disease. <laughs> Meet the Riot family from Northville. You want some orange? Busy juggling work, college, school, and sports, they make it a point to cook well and eat together. They also modify Indian staples, staying away from fried foods and calorie-laden sweets, opting instead for leafy greens and fruits. Okay, no burgers, fries. <laughs> a healthy lifestyle is top of mind for this South Asian American family. Last year, their grandfather died of a heart attack. And it makes you realize how important it is to lose loved ones to this disease. Um, it really makes you focus on your health. Heart disease runs in Manjinder Jeet's family. Since the mid-90s, several have suffered heart attacks and some did not survive. Like I was 35 or 38 when I had my first stress test done on to, to make sure that everything is okay with my heart and all the stuff. When it comes to heart attacks in the South Asian community, doctors are sounding the alarm. South Asians are four times more likely to have a heart attack than any other ethnic group. And they tend to have them about 10 years earlier uh, than most ethnic groups. So we're talking about people in their 30s and 40s. And then also they tend to die more. Just give this blood pressure log. To Dr. Asha Shahjahan is a family physician at Corwell Health and says heart disease is ravaging her community. Yeah, it's been really tough this last year. I've lost two close friends um, of a major heart attack. The mortality rate for South Asians is 40% higher than the general population. I think it's scary. It just um, makes you do you know, more, try to prevent it. Kushdeep is a nurse practitioner and says her family is taking a proactive approach. For me as a mom, I pay more attention to like, you know, for example, I have fruits and vegetables at home. Try to cook healthy, not have a saturated fats and you know sugary stuff because all that um, again is a recipe for a heart disease. Going against cultural norms the couple made sure their kids played sports. The only thing I push them is a health health health. I tell them look at your dad look at your grandparents. I feel like in many South Asian families they think that sports or Exercising takes away from your academics or from your future. I feel like in many cases this isn't true. In spaces like figure skating, swimming, soccer, we noticed that we were the only brown kids doing these sports. So I think the barrier is just there. You don't see people that look like you playing these sports. You don't feel like you should be prioritizing it. You feel like you don't belong. And that leads a lot of people to quit. They say it's possible for South Asian families to balance their Indian and American roots. You can still celebrate those aspects of your culture and still celebrate what we have as a family and be healthy as well. You don't have to run away from Indian culture at all. Like even how we all do Bhangra and Giddha, even dancing is such an amazing way to burn calories. They're speaking out, hoping to spark important and potentially life-saving conversations in the South Asian community. You want to have your screening exams and preventative exams so we can get this word out there for our community so they can, so at least it doesn't happen. I know it happened, you know, in our family, but we're trying to prevent it and that's what we hope for other people. We're trying to get that conversation started. Here are the top recommendations from doctors. First, if you're South Asian, you are at greater risk, plain and simple. Second, go see your doctor and get screened, especially if you have a family history. And third, it's all about those lifestyle changes, right? So you've got to exercise, you've got to eat well, you've got to make sure that you're not loading up on processed food, that you're eating more leafy greens and vegetables. Also, look critically at the Indian diet. That's something that really surprised me personally. The Indian foods that I thought were healthy healthy turned out weren't great for your heart. Reporting live tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Well, Priya, curious, is the doctor offering up any perspective as to why this problem is specific to South Asians? 
You know, first off, doctors say we need more studies. There aren't enough studies specifically looking at South Asians. I can tell you one stat, though. Even though uh, South Asians make up only 25% of the world's population, they make up 50% of heart attacks. And they say a couple of reasons could be we have narrower blood vessels. We also tend to gain weight right around our midsection, right around our organs, and that all increases our risk of heart disease. Send wow. it back to you. Wow. Thanks, Priya. Really interesting. Okay.